An accurate representation of me when I started hearing heavy guitars on a poppy album. What's up everyone? Happy Halloween to you! Welcome back to ARTV. My name is John. Today we're going to be reviewing the second studio album by the singer and online personality Poppy, a controversial, mysterious figure who's had kind of a rough year in terms of like legal things. Her and Titanic St. Clair, the partner producer that helps her make videos. Mariah is her actual name. Poppy is the stage name. And there is a lot that is going on here that I want to unpack. The second album is titled, Am I a Girl? Poppy released Poppy.Computer last year, and it ended up being one of my favorite releases of the year. It was something that was so strange to me, I had literally no expectations going in, having only seen like the I'm Poppy video where she just repeats her name and a couple of other weird ones. I knew that Anthony Fantano had met Poppy, and that was the extent of it. And then I played the album, and I was extremely impressed with songs like Interweb and Software Upgrade. There were many great tracks on there that I continue to revisit, and I of course was excited to hear a new record from Poppy. The album was preceded by five different singles, one of which I heard that was Time Is Up featuring Diplo. It was a song that didn't grab me at first, but after repeated listens to this album, which I was fortunate enough to get a few days in advance so I could have a review out on Halloween, aka release day for this, it was something that I started to see as a little bit eye-opening because it touches on themes of the world ending and the fact that our bees are dying and other important issues that are kind of thrown into this dance pop song and when you think about it the synthesizers and the tone that Diplo sets musically with the production and the style and everything it's actually kind of ominous the way that it flows nicely it has a nice synth pop melody but there's these dark tones and that's just poppy in a nutshell and that theme continues on the record I already threw out the term synth pop, so yes, that is one that definitely sticks for this album. I would definitely say that heavy metal and hard rock fits in some places. Never thought that I would hear a drop D tuning on a poppy song, but there we are on a collaboration with Grimes, and that's another thing that just kind of came out of left field. It's kind of awesome, it's kind of weird, and it also has some vaporwave influences, so this record's kind of all over the place. Despite a tumultuous year, Poppy and her collaborators pulled together for a very solid record that has a lot of things going for it. I'm not sure that it's quite as solid as Poppy.Computer, but I do enjoy the songwriting here, the fact that it's very punctuated, pronounced, and very Poppy-ish for the most part. There are some songs that don't work as well as others. In fact, sometimes they try to shoehorn in the guitar and it just doesn't work out. Hard Feelings would be that song where the styles just do not mesh at all, and I feel like it sounds pretty awful. But then there's great combinations of different things, like Chic Chick, which is just fantastic Poppy going off on that track, a catchy chorus, probably one of the catchiest songs I've heard all year, and then you've got something like X, which goes from sunshiny and bubbly and talking about how Poppy wants to take all the bullets from all the guns in the world and just spread peace and love, and then it goes back into the manic side, the chaotic, and then heavy metal riffs start playing in a guitar solo and thundering drums. Maybe just maybe too many different styles were attempted on Am I a Girl, but I do have to say that I feel like Poppy executed on at least one or two of the tracks from each section and really excelled in those departments. Yes, there are some letdowns. Yes, there are some lyrical woes that I can't help but acknowledge, but there's also other tracks that really up the ante for what she could do in the future. Slicing into the track list here, we have Chic Chick, which I wanted to give a shout out to first. I already mentioned that it's one of the catchiest songs of the year, but this song is just so ridiculously fun. The synth tones on this track are magic, and just Poppy's vocals, they feel so cocky and confident in a way, just like she's standing there knowing that it doesn't matter what's going to happen, she's still the boss. And I feel like it takes a lot of influence from Lady Gaga's GUI from Art Pop, a record that gets over 
overlooked, and I'll admit that I don't come back to it as much as I probably should, but that was such a standout cut, and it's nice to see Poppy being influenced not only by Gaga, but many of her other pop contemporaries. A lot of the recording sessions for Poppy.Computer and some of the ones for Am I a Girl took place overseas in Japan, and it's pretty clear that Poppy and her collaborators were influenced by acts like Bandmate and, of course, Baby Metal. It's pretty much undeniable on this final act, starting with the title track, Am I a Girl, and then, of course, the Grimes collaboration, Play Destroy, and the closing moment, X. Grimes and Poppy sound badass paired together on Play Destroy. It's an undeniable moment that comes through with clarity, catchiness, but also just wanting to watch the world burn and destroy because Poppy is an android and will not need the life after we end it on like time is up. She referenced it there and once again, Play Destroy It calls back to that. I am definitely not feeling this song the rapture ball. I just feel like this one, the more times you play it, loses a little bit of its appeal. It's something where I could appreciate some of the lyrics. In fact, I like some of them, but the chorus was a definite letdown to me and I think that some of the parts overall musically just feel bland, and that's why the more listens you give it, the more it loses that shine. I've got a lot of love for the opening track in a minute. Fashion After All is just fine. Doesn't really push any buttons that far one way or the other for me personally, but then we get to Iconic, the last song that I want to talk about here, one that is absolutely catchy as hell, an earworm that I am fascinated by. I love the synth work. I love the fact that it is very bubbly, and it's also processed but still it's just something so sugary sweet you don't want to put it down you can't get it out of your ears and you're just humming it to yourself over and over again iconic iconic poppy definitely pulled some surprises out of the bag on her second studio album am i a girl it's an enjoyable release overall, although I do feel like it's a step down from Poppy.Computer in the sense that that one flowed better together. It had even more standout tracks. This one had some shock factor to it, but it also had some wow factor, but it was a little off balance in places, and there were some inconsistency issues, although it didn't necessarily plague the album that bad. The interludes were a little bit unnecessary, although I liked the first one. The second one just feels pointless. The heavy tracks were pretty nice, the danceable ones, the woke tracks. It's a little bit of everything, and for me personally, I'm going to give this a 3.5. Let me know your thoughts on the new Poppy release in the comments section down below. If you haven't heard it yet, then click the link to stream it in the description, and of course, drop a like on the review while you're here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future uploads. If you would like to support the channels on Patreon and help me keep doing what I do, then tap this annotation in the corner or else the top link down below. See my poppy.computer review right over here, or tap here for another recent video. Socials in the description and I'll see you soon for more on ARTV.